everybody, welcome to D-Lab. How about something different? Let's convert an old 1980s Toyo Japanese tuner into a guitar amp. There it is. Let's go. So for this conversion, I have an old Toyo model ST136 tuner. At least that's what it used to be. I'm going to convert this into a guitar amp. So let me open it up. I'll show you what was in there and what my plan is. Well, as I stated, this started its life as an inexpensive AM FM tuner. It had a circus board that was mounted on this chassis. Now I have removed that. I've already put in a new subplate for the little Class A amp that's going to be installed. This was the original tuning dial. And this was the rear panel. All that is going to the junk, but I'm going to reuse the front panel. They used to be, in this position there used to be a red FM multiplex lamp. This was the power switch, some other switching, and of course tuning. This now will become my input for the guitar. We'll have volume and tone. And then this is going to remount on the chassis and slide right back in that cabinet. Also installed a new aluminum back plate. So if we flip it around, my fuse holder is going to go here. This would be the output jack for the speaker line cord in. Update to the little Toyo tuner retrofit into an amp. I've got the controls mounted so here's my input jack. Volume and tone the tone pot has the switch so it can be bypassed. It's a power light. I have the dial artwork reinstalled. So I've elected to make this a 6K6 amp. So there's the 6K6 tube. There's the rear of our controls mounted. And over here, there's going to be a 12AX7 power transformer. Here's my fuse holder. Swing around the back here. So my power cord will go in here. This is my speaker out. The switch will select between 4 or 8 ohm speaker. Let's look around the other side. Well luckily, since this is a Japanese made tuner, I did find a Japanese made output transformer. And it's 7K on the primary. And it's got a 4 and 8 ohm tap. And those two lines would go to the switch. And then of course the ground would go down to the common on the speaker output jack. So my power transformer, which is a 400 volt center tap. It also has a 6.3 winding. It sits in there nicely. So because of room constraints, my power supply section is going to be up here. Okay. So you see I landed a terminal board right there. So I'm going to have a pair of filter caps that will lay on top. It would be diode rectified. That power is going to dive through that grommet to the bottom of the chassis. Same with the 12AX7. The tube's up there and we're going to have the controls diving through that grommet to the underside of the chassis. Let me show you why I had to do that. So we'll flip her up on its side. You can see under here we only got maybe a half inch of space from the chassis rails to my subplate. So the 6K6 tube octal socket had to be modified slightly to clear the cabinet bottom. Okay, we don't want that hitting. So I had to bend all those terminals. I found a mini terminal board, which is nice because it clears. So this will have all my support resistors, caps, whatever. For the preamp section, going to the output section, all this area is pretty much going to be wide open. So I used the shafts of the pots to reconnect the front panel to the amp. There's no other hardware. I also want to add a light. I want to put it above the dial so it lights up really cool. I'm thinking about a GE47 for that. Question is now, 
will this thing go back into the cabinet? So yep, she's going to slide right in like a drawer and sit like it used to. The only issue that I see is access to the tubes because right now it's a solid wood top so I may have to open this up and put some ventilated type of metal in there maybe hinged so you could reach in and pull the tubes but there is plenty of ventilation because it's not a tight fit so I really don't think heat's going to be an issue but we'll deal with that later alright let's check out the final build of the Toyo amp slides out like a drawer Let's inspect the chassis top side and bottom side, and then you'll hear a live demo. All right, so we'll sweep the chassis. There's my tone control with a bypass switch, volume control, input jack, and those wires run through that hole to the bottom side of the chassis. Our 6K6, 12AX7, power supply filter caps, main power transformer, Here's our fuse. Down there is the output jack. The switch selects between 4 and 8 ohm from that cool Japanese output transformer. Okay. Backside, here's that switch to select your ohms for the speaker. Power input. Let's go underneath. Here we are, bottom side. Yeah, she was pretty tight. I only had about a half inch of clearance. So this is the bottom of the 6K6 output tube, 680 ohm resistor roid for the cathode biasing with this little cap over there, that's 100 microfarad. 12AX7 with the coupling caps, tone caps, feeding the controls through that grommet. Here is another power supply cap that actually fit underneath, and this grommet goes up to the power transformer. Right there is the ground lead for the power cord. Really came together slick. Of course, most of the front panel was uninterrupted. I used the existing holes, and these are actually 1970s spline shaft type knobs. The original tuning window lights up. There's a power switch. If you guys like this and you want a schematic, as usual, email me and I'll send you a JPEG. Hello, here's a little, a little another three watt. Uh, 6K6. Practice amp, 6K6 amp, yep. class A. Another little, uh, it's like a micro champ, kind of a one trick pony. Doesn't sound too bad though. Got a nice warm round tone. Let's go to another one, eh?